Hi everyone, this is Diego from Not Just for Engineers, and in this tutorial we are going to create our first macro using Excel and the ETAPS application programming interface, or ETAPS API. We will be able to open an ETAPS model from Excel, analyze it, and get the base reactions from every load case defined in the model. First things first, in case that this is your first macro using Excel, you have to activate the Developer tab. And now you can uh, access the Visual Basic Editor and write your code. Every time you want to make a program using the API, the first thing you have to do is to make a reference to the ETAPS library, which is located in the installation folder. That's it. Now, since it is our first macro, I think that a good start point would be the um, help file, which is located in the installation folder as well. Here we have every function we can use uh, with the API, and uh, sometimes there are examples with, which can be very useful. Um, in this example, in this tutorial, we are going to use the Enjoy Reaction example, which is a program uh, that uh, returns the value of uh, the reaction in uh, a point in the in the in the ETAPS model. This is the example. Uh, just by copying it into the Visual Basic Editor, uh, we should be able to to run it. However, uh, we will see that there are some mistakes that we will have to correct in order to make it work properly. For example, if we run it, uh, we see that the, uh, an error appears. We have to uh, set the, the path where we want to save the program uh, properly. We are going to create a folder in the desktop uh, for this example. Okay, and just by copying the, the file path, it's, it's okay for this. That's right. Now let's try to run it again. Okay, another error. Uh, that part of the code wasn't right properly. We have to. Uh, complete it. Now let's try again, but another error. That uh, variable should be a long type uh, variable instead of a, a integer. Mm, we have to correct some few lines more. Okay, but now before uh, trying it again, we are going to disactivate that final part to close the ETAPS and to make a message box appear uh, showing the displaying the reaction value. Uh, just to check that the program works properly. Okay, that is the reaction value. Let's try again. Now I, it apps uh, runs properly. It analyzes the model, as we can see. But however, uh, when the reaction value appears, uh, it says that it's zero, which of course isn't true. Um, this happens because we have to, our code isn't, isn't right uh, yet. We have to make reference to the unique name of the joint instead of the joint label.
and then the reaction value which is uh, 57 uh, should appear that is the unique name and the load case should be spelled properly uh, taking care of the capital letters as well now we can activate the, the part in which tabs is closed and run the code again tabs uh, starts the application and as we will see uh, now it runs properly the reaction value is 57 point something that's it, it works properly so we have fixed the etabs example that was in the file help and now the program works as it should work I think we can complicate it a little bit. Starting from this code, we are going to create the program that I showed at the beginning of the tutorial. This is the code that we are going to create. Let's have a look to the main changes of it. First of all, uh, it's clear that I have uh, divided it into, into three different parts. The first program, the second program, and the third one. And why have I divided it into three different parts? Let's see. But uh, first, let me write just the heading of the program. Okay, the reason because of which I have divided it into uh, three different parts is to be able to use three different buttons. Because for each button we create, we have to assign a macro to it. For example, when we press this button, we are going to run the, the first macro, which was the macro which opens the model. We are going to, to have a look to, to it later. I really like to use these, these kind of buttons and so on because I think that the, um, how the program lo looks like it's, it's very important as well. Okay, if we want to refer the list box in our code, we need to know its name, which is list box one. Okay, so now um, just a few changes more. Uh, let me think. Okay, that's it. I think it's 
the program is much cooler now and I really as I said before I I really like it when when it it, it looks like cool instead of uh, instead of being just a boring spreadsheet which uh, nobody would like to use it so now this is the program as I said before and let's have a look to the main changes I've made to it first of all I have um, put the the variables at the beginning uh, out of any program and I have uh, added a few more now as we can see we are going to open a, an existing file instead of instead of uh, starting a new model here uh, we can see the, the function of, of etabs which we can of course we can find it in the help file Here it is, open file, it's very easy because you can find a sample as well and, and, and it's very easy to use. I, with this line I just uh, ask for the for the name of the of the file and then uh, using the this function we can open an existing model. We can now run the analysis and here with this other line we are going to set the units to uh, to whatever we want to. This is another function that you can find it as well in the help file. That this is yeah, set person units. You can have an example, of course, and this is the this is the line that we are interested in. But instead of writing uh, these words, we are going to see the number uh, we have to. Uh, right, that in this case uh, is in, uh, in the value of 6. <clears throat> now, uh, after that, we want to get the load cases that they are defined in the in the model. So we are um, just going to use uh, this function, which uh, creates two different arrays. Uh, so I'm sorry, which creates one array with the name of every load case that it's in the in the model and just the, this variable which is an, a, a long time variable uh, tells us the number of load cases defined so then we get the load cases and uh, we made the program to write them into the list box and finally uh, we want to know the the name of the points which are on the in the basement because we want to know the reaction in, in that joint. So these uh, two different functions are defined in the, in the help file as well. We just have to to look for them. Get name list. Okay, this function which uh, retrieves the the name of every load case and the other function which I think that is very very useful we can find that uh, here point object element and uh, methods here it is retrieves the names of the defined point objects on a given story I think that this function can be very useful okay so this was the first program which allow, allow us to um, open the ETAPS model and to get the load cases and, and uh, point names and as we can see we are going to use this um, this array later so by writing the public uh, programs in the same module we are going to preserve uh, the, the values of that array to the next program uh, the first part is just to, to clear previous data if, if this was the case and then uh, it is very important because we are going to, to tell the program which load case we want to, to get the reaction from the, to get the reaction from and um, you have to take care because you have to uh, deselect all cases and combos for output each case that you want to, uh, to select a new load case and finally, perhaps the most important part of the program is when we want to write it into a table. Um, 
it's very easy. We, we just uh, we are going to, to use the the joint reaction function that was uh, explained before in the ETAPS example. But uh, to give the we are going to use this array that uh, that has the names of all the of each point in the basement. As we can see, uh, instead of uh, selecting an individual joint, and finally we have uh, made as well a program to close etabs. Uh, it's, it's the same as before. Uh, just we have to do, we want to clear the, the data we we used to to further uh, uses of the program. Okay, so I think that uh, that was all I wanted to show. Let's see if it works. So now we have to select the the model we want to use. I have this this model. I have created this model. This is what we are what I am going to use to explain this uh, this tutorial. Okay, this is the model. Everything is okay. It's not, it, it has to analyze now. Fine. All right. Let's have a look to the spreadsheet, and, and we can see that every load case is uh, it is every load case has been written into this uh, list box. For example, if we want to know the reactions. In the dead load case, we just have to select dead, uh, press this button, get reactions, and now we can see that all the reactions are displayed into this table. If we want, if we want to select another load case, just uh, the process is very simple. Just uh, let us check if the if the program works properly. Super dead load. Okay, for example, so we can go back to ETAPS, select this joint, do it number 144, and then the reaction value, the vertical reaction is 193 kN. So if we come back to the spreadsheet, the joint 144. And the vertical reaction is 193 kilonewtons. So as we can see, the program works properly, and now we can close it to further uses. Okay, and the program has been closed. This is the end of this tutorial. I just wanted to explain how to start programming in ETAPS and to explore a little bit the possibilities it has.